Hi, it's John and Lynn again, and we got a new snack crate. Have, we have no idea what country it's from, so we're going to open it up on camera. So let's get going. My name is Jonathan, and I'm a caregiver for my wife, Lynn, who has a permanent brain injury. Things are different now, but we're doing the best that we can. Join us as we experience the Lynn. Okay, I know Lynn is anxious to find out what country our new snack crate is from. We do this once a month, right? Yep. And we sample all the snacks and tell you what we think of them. So let's see what country this is from. I'm not going to... It is from Korea. It's from South Korea. We had a little indication that maybe... This was South Korea because of the, on the front of the package, it had uh, some Korean writing that Justin looked up and he says, that's Korean. So, packages from Korea. So let's see what this is. This is what we got. Here's Korea. And this just has all the interesting facts that are in it about South Korea. All right, and we're gonna talk about that. And then, we're noticing they appear to have sent me some sort of a game and there's like little game pieces. Maybe we'll talk about that or maybe that's something we'll play on another video. Let's see what that is. Okay, Lynn is anxious to get into these snacks but I wanted to talk about Korea uh, a little bit, South Korea specifically, and some of the snacks that we're going to get in. And these are something to do with the game called Doc G. And uh, I don't think we're going to play it, but these cards have something to do with it. Maybe we'll try that at another time. We're going to set those here. Let's talk about South Korea. Do you know the uh, capital of South Korea, Lynn? No. Seoul. Seoul, South Korea. And uh, let's see. Officially, the Republic of Korea, South Korea, occupies the southern piece of the Korean Peninsula with a population just short of 52 million people, standing as the world's 12th largest economy. And uh, this is fun facts. Uh, almost all restaurants deliver. They'll even come back for your dirty dishes. Wow, I like that. 19 is the legal age to smoke, drink, and vote. South Koreans love shopping so much that most stores are open until 4 in the morning. Um, when posing for a picture, South Koreans will say kimchi instead of cheese. Kimchi. Yeah, there's a lot of other interesting facts on here about South Korea, and uh, which I'll read about uh, a little later on my own. Um, but let's get into some of these snacks. Um, which are all listed here, and it gives me a description of them. So let's see here. We got Korean this? writing on here with uh, uh, the sticker resembles the Korean South Korean flag, which is interesting. There's a cute little tiger right there. And see what we Corn got. Chips. Yeah, and we got a whole bunch of cool stuff here. We're going to hand this off to Justin, so he's going to give us a snack at a time. Okay, Justin's going to hand me the first one. Um, I've looked on this sheet that accompanies all the snacks, and I can't find this one on it. It's a little different. Usually the snacks are on this pamphlet here, but they are not. So, um, But it says, it says corn chips, along with a bunch of Korean writing on it. Um, that, of course, I do not understand. But it does say corn chips in English, so let's let's give that a shot and we'll see what we think. I'm going to open it up this way with scissors, it's a little bit easier. There you go, Lenny. Try your corn chip. They're puffier. They're not like uh, Fritos or anything like that. Hmm. I'm looking to see if one of these others. Or not it. it. Has a different taste to it. Tastes good. Definitely corn, but does not doesn't taste like Fritos or something like that. They're very puffy. 
Hmm. Not bad, but I do not have a description of these that I think of. Can't see it. Now, let's move on to the next one. What else we got, Justin? Let's see what this is called. Custard. Some kind of custard. Let's see if I can find this one. Yep, I found it. Custard cake. Okay. This is like a cust some kind of a custard cake. A light, uh, sweet sponge cake filled with a rich, creamy custard. Popular Korean dessert snack that is good to eat any time of the day. And let's see what we got. Oh, it looks like one. Here, why don't you try it, Lenny? Take a bite. Mm. Justin, get, Justin doesn't get to have any of this. There's only one. Mmm. That was good. All right. Let's try another one. Tasted kind of like a Twinkie. Kind of like a Twinkie. What do we got? Like a marshmallow. A choco, a choco pie. I think I saw this on here somewhere. There it is. These marshmallow pies are adored by all Koreans. They are regularly smuggled into North Korea where they are as good as cash. Wow. Well, let's go take a... You think Kim Jong-un likes these? Yeah. He might. He might, might be crazy for them. What do you think, Lynn? What does it remind you of? Um, it reminds me, I know, of a ho-ho. No, a moon pie. Yeah. That's what that is. It's a moon pie. Hmm. Okay, so this one is kind of a, this is very different. Um, it, it feels like it's just ramen noodles, okay? Um, but it says right on the description here, says don't cook it it's a favorite Korean snack and it involves crunching the noodles in the bag and then covering the noodles in the flavoring included let's see here it says step one open the package take out the spices and smash noodles then sprinkle okay so we're gonna have to do this okay so I've opened up the bag it says to take the spices out I don't know if I've gotten them all. Is that the only one? It is. Yep. Take that out. Now, I'm supposed to crunch this up. Probably going to make a mess here. Okay. Um, let's set that down. We're going to open this packet. And pour it. Yep. And you sprinkle it in. Side. There you get you. All right. <coughs> and you eat them like potato chips. Hmm. I don't know if it's my thing. I like ramen noodles, but I've never eaten them raw before. Not cooking. So it's basically ramen noodles with a little flavoring packet. Take the flavoring packet out, you crunch up the noodles, and you sprinkle the flavoring packet back into the bag, and you eat it like potato chips. Not bad. Not throwing. Yeah. Like one said, not throwing. We're not used to that. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so Justin just gave me another one here. We gave it, he partially opened it for me. It's called Baked Potato Sticks. Thin, crunchy sticks flavored with butter and salt to taste like an undeniably delicious baked potato. Bet you can't stop at one. So let's open it up here. Like They're like potato sticks, I think. Let's see. You dip in there and get one of those. Mm. 
potato sticks. Baked potato sticks, exactly what it says, and they're good. Good snack. It's really interesting eating snacks from other areas of the world, seeing what they're doing. Some of the stuff, some stuff is quite similar. Other things very different, kind of like the uh, ramen noodle thing. That was different. We have ramen noodles here, we just don't eat them that way. All right, baked potato sticks. Okay, Justin just handed us another one. And this, according to this sheet, is called potato, potato truffle. truffle. Right there, potato truffle. Salty potato in the shape of a thin waffle and flavored with black truffle, making this a melt-in-your-mouth favorite. This is different. Never had a snack with involving truffle flavoring, which is a hmm, kind of a Yeah, different. I kind of like it. I can taste the uh, truffles. I can definitely taste the, t the taste of truffles. Pretty good. Okay, so Justin handed me this one here, which is uh, in a plain wrapper. He says it's very suspicious. He says this is sus suspicious um, because there's no markings on it, but it is on here. It's and it's yellow. called... Yug, what's it called? What's it say? Yugwa. 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 It says, the most traditional Korean cookie made of, and it's made of honey, flour, and toasted rice. You are sure to find this snack during any holiday celebration in Korea. So this is definitely very unique. If we were Korean, we'd know exactly what this is. It's, it's kind of soft. I, it looks like a, a Rice Krispie treat, but that's not what it is. Here you go, Lenny. Try that. Let's see what you think first before I bite it. <laughs> what do you think? Is it sweet? <clears throat> okay. Got, got honey in it. Toasted rice. But it's not a Rice Krispie treat. It's much mm -hmm. softer. It's not as crunchy. Kind of chewy. Not a bad taste at all. But this is uh, definitely a very common treat in South Korea. We got another one called My Gummy Grape. Which is the only thing in English on here. Um, it's definitely... Uh, we're getting into the candy type stuff. Now, Justin had mentioned that uh, that this is uh, probably the most unique um, packet we've gotten so far. Here you go, man. These look like little ga little grapes, right? Little gummy grapes. Mm -hmm. And this is why he's been wanting to get uh, some sort of Asian country like Japan or China or uh, Korea. Because he knew they would be, uh, the, their snacks there are much more unique than anything we have here in Western countries. Lynn likes these. I do. Gummies. Yeah. This would be uh, more of a, a Western candy, I would think. We'll see what they say. Sweet and authentic grape flavored gummies that will surely satisfy your sweet tooth this is not your typical gummy treat though it tastes kind of typical to me it does. and good very good okay next we look we have a strawberry um Seacom. yeah a treat here it's called Seacom dalcom uh, that's it right here um it says it's a fruit chew with a sweet and sour kick and addicting candy found all over Korea. Try either grape, peach, strawberry, or lemonade. And we have strawberry here. If I can get it open. And, uh, okay, they're individual little candies. Right? 
to get your arm hooked around me there, lady. And uh, similar to a starburst in appearance. So we'll see what they taste. What they taste like then? Ooh, very, very sour. Kind of like a starburst. Maybe a little more sour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're definitely into the candy portion of the box right now. <clears throat> Justin handed me the next one. He says, definitely save me a bite on this one because he wants to eat this one. It's called Chick Chock. And there is a description here. Hang on, Liv. You want to hold that? Well, look at that. Um, it's a soft and chewy coffee flavored cookie with chunks of chocolate chips and cream cheese. A sweet and decadent delicacy. So let's try this. We can each take a little bite of it. This mm, smells good immediately as soon as I open it up, I can smell the chocolate. Oh, here, we'll take off little pieces. Take off a little piece here. What do you think? This is good. That is good. It definitely tastes of coffee. Yeah, chocolate, coffee. I like this. This is my favorite so far. I mm -hmm. like this one. Very, very good. What's this one called? What does it say right here, Lenny? Next one. Butter waffle. Butter waffle in this golden packet. And it says, everything you love about a waffle smothered in butter. But this version is made to take on the go. Try this crunchy snack for breakfast. Man, we should, should we save it for breakfast tomorrow? Hmm. No. Oh, I got some individual ones here, so it's easy to share. Why do you always hook your arms around? <laughs> okay. You want another one? Oh, Lynn likes it. Lynn likes this one. So uh, it's tasty. It's like a crunchy little waffle. Sweet. Reminds me of something else. I'm not sure what it is. It almost got like a honey taste to it. But it's, this is tasty. I could eat a bag of this stuff. This is very good. Justin has handed me this. It's called... Pepero and it has white chocolate in it. What is it you said this was just in pot? I'd imagine it's similar to like Pocky. Pocky, which is Japanese, right? Mm -hmm. That's a Japanese snack that you've had before. Um, let's read about it here. Crunchy biscuit sticks dipped in creamy white chocolate and covered in small cookie crumbles. You can't get enough of this Korean classic. So this might be a popular Asian type um, Oh, there's another thing I open up here. Keep it fresh. These are white. Yes, yeah, so it's like a little, like a pretzel stick of some sort, dipped in this white chocolate, chocolate. with little cookie crumbles on it. Right. And I'm sure Lynn's going to like this. We kind of saved this one to the end. Is there, is this the last one, Joseph? Yeah, this is the last I one. I like this somewhat. I know you do. Is this your favorite yes. overall? It is. Lynn loves white chocolate. If anybody wants to ever get Lynn a treat, white chocolate. That's what she loves. Ready? Have your drink. Very good. Hey, um, happy Mother's Day, by the way. This is airing on Mother's Day. It's also... My birthday. Happy I birthday. Yeah. My birthday, Jim I often, John. every every seven years, I share my birthday with uh, moms everywhere. Whenever it falls on a Sunday. I'm going to have one more of these. Yeah. And then Justin's birthday is ten days from now. And then Lynn's birthday is June 2nd. All our birthdays are grouped close together. Okay, so that wraps up our snacks from South Korea, but I uh, want to mention one more thing about South Korea. It says that the reason that most roofs 
in South Korea are curved up at the end is, uh, is because it gives them the appearance of a smile. So in, in Korea, all most, most of the buildings appear to be smiling. I think that's kind of a nice thing. So, we're going to put a close on this. So, we'll, we'll see, see you next time, time on, on The Lin Light.